Hey guys, got a little bit of an update for you. Uh, first, I want to introduce you to my new apprentice. This is Green. Hello. Uh, he is apprenticing with us uh, to become a part-time terrain crafter. Uh, as you can see, he is currently uh, doing this, which is cutting up uh, sprue from uh, various model kits. What we're going to do is we're going to use this as just sort of like a debris that we're going to mix in with basing because it's a it's a very uh, affordable and cheap because you're going to buy the models anyway for wargaming so why not cut them up and use them in the basing a uh, very easy trick so let's go ahead and do a little bit of studio update here um, first I have gotten two more buildings for the Middenheim set put together uh, I haven't done a lot of updates this past month I have actually transitioned away from my warehouse job and I am now working at Dragon's Keep Comics here in Provo so you know plug for that if you're in the Utah area come check it out we're playing a lot of 40k we're getting a lot of things going on uh, I will probably do some updates on Thursdays and Fridays uh, as we get more of that going we're doing paint days on Sundays it's really fun so uh, now that that you know shameless plug is out of the way um, just give you a look see these are in the same style as the other buildings I decided to make these a little bit you know less because of the fact that they're on smaller bases so if you show you right here these are on bigger bases and as you can see these are more like chunks of buildings uh, and we're continuing with that we're gonna be getting a lot of this work done um, over the next week just really trucking it out now that I got green here to give me a hand on things it's just gonna be a lot easier to get projects caught back up and the workflow flowing well this if you have not seen the Facebook post is our Grayskull Castle uh, for the Grayskull Challenge. Uh, getting a, we got a little bit behind on projects, so I was not able to dedicate a lot of time to this until recently. Uh, the way this is going to work, this is taking a page from a video that I saw on Dream Spirit uh, Wargaming's uh, YouTube channel a while back. It was a Lord of the Rings inspired piece, but it gave me this idea. We're going to put the gate here, you're going to have a tower in each one of these uh, little pieces here. And then this is sort of a power sword altar that has kind of a Viking He-Man thing going on. And I actually created the power sword from two warriors of chaos axes, a spear, and then two sword kits from, I think it was, are they called the Blood Letters of Corn? Not Blood Letters, no. Blood Letters are the demons. The big one, the big... Uh, Corn Juggernaut Riders. They just came out like a year or so back, I think. But you know which ones I'm talking about if you know Warriors of Chaos. Ah, but yeah, that's what that's crafted from. I'll be crafting this up over the weekend as well. Uh, we also have Sunday, our ter live Terrain Incorporated show. Uh, that will be at 3 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. If you're around the Indianapolis area, um, I can't remember what time zone that is, but it's around 4 o'clock and then 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be doing that uh, this month's uh, video or, or this month's uh, live show, not video, will be about Hotwire Tools and we'll also be going around, uh, over all the recent news this past month with releases and all that wonderful stuff. So as always, thanks for staying tuned and and we will be ramping out a lot more videos and content for you guys here in the near future. Uh, so say hi, say bye to Green and <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs>